So, what we just finished doing was a summarizing, right? Three groups, they presented, then we summarized everything, and what I said was what? I said that to have a mind map, it's almost like regurgitating all the information you have stored up there, but in a structured way where you can understand it and remember it much better. It's graphic. People have more of a tendency to remember things that they visualize than just by hearing and listening to someone beat something or even beating themselves. So aside from that part there, that cognitive part, we also have cooperative learning, which is what? You guys were put in a team, you did actually really, really well. Most of you, or all of you were working. You all participated. And just that act of putting in your two cents for something means that you've understood something a lot better. Okay? Trying to teach someone something, this, having a discussion, it's the best way to learn. Seeing things graphically and also discussing things the best way for you to actually retain information. So this is what cooperative learning is, and that's what I integrated in this exercise as well. So for the, for the cognitive, using the mind map, so just to reiterate what I was saying before, you use your prior knowledge, right? What was your prior knowledge? Well, we, are, we already knew about, or we had discussed the components, right? Like the dial, the transistor, and what they did in OS. Maybe they didn't know in detail, but now it's, it's a little bit more complete and hopefully stored in long-term memory. So your exams are a couple of days, it doesn't have to be that long-term. You structure the information that you have learned and that will help you store it in your long-term memory. So now that we're mastering this part of it, we're going to take this and we're going to apply it or reapply it to learn SCRs and tracks because they're very closely linked. Are we good? Yeah. All right.